All right, guys, David, Express Auto. We are still working on our 4L60 shelf build transmission. We just want to do a quick, small video on the Sprague rotations of a 4L60. Main purpose of this video is just for you guys to have reference of how the Sprags are supposed to rotate. If you guys are in a question or a spot where you're wondering how they work. The way that I approach my Sprags is I always sand my Sprague race and the reason for this is that sanding the race will actually give it a better chance to hold oil on the surface. This does not affect the way that the sprag works. It's not going to take enough metal off to change the tolerance of the sprag, but it does help keep oil on the sprag surface, which will help keep the sprag running cooler while the transmission is in operation. So we get our races all sanded up here. Give our parts a little bit of a blow dry. Right? Don't want any dirt or sanding grit in there. The way I like to do it is I put my sprag into the hub. I put the race for the sprag. Onto there. Try not to push the sprag out. Just like so. Put your snap ring in. clicks. Should rotate forward. Like so. Now we will oil the sprag. I'm a big fan of oiling parts whenever we're putting them together. Never never want your parts to rust and nobody wants one to go in dry so it never hurts to take the time to oil the sprag. We've already assembled our low reverse sprag. New sprag is already in there. Race has already been sanded and oiled. With this sprag installed, it should rotate clockwise and lock counterclockwise. Go over this one one more time. And that's it. So, that is the direction that the sprags rotate in a 4L60. If you guys have any questions or concerns or ideas or thoughts about this, just let me know in the comment section and we'll gladly discuss it however far we need to. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.